Hello everyone, this is Maher from CardinalRacing.com. Today we're doing an unboxing video for the MCD uh, Dukes Touring Car and uh, we're gonna have a closer look at what you get with this uh, car and what is also required to have it fully functional and the specs and details of the MCD Dukes. So without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, so we have some, I'm just, just gonna lay everything down here first, and then we can have a look at what we got here. So, there it is. Okay. Okay, so you get, you get an exploded diagram of the MCD Dukes. To be honest, it's not the biggest exploded diagram, but um, it just basically gives you an idea of the breakdown of the car and an idea of the parts. But there is uh, a digital file available on the website to, on the support section. If you go to cardinalracing.com, you go to support section, there's a PDF file for this that you can download and then you can print it uh, however uh, size you want. So, uh, but anyway, this is what you get. Um, the other piece of document that comes with the Dukes is just like the other MCD cars, if any of you are previous MCD owners, um, it's basically uh, a checklist. So this just shows you um, exactly what you should have in the box. Okay, now let's look at these packages here. So the first package you get is the Duke's uh, accessories pack. So this one here, basically you get all the hardware, you get the screws to, to mount your engine, you get the screws for your servos, etc. And um, you have uh, some toe inserts for the rear. So the toe insert system is very similar on the MCD XR5 or the V5 platform where uh, you can change your toe and uh, etc. and whatnot. We'll talk about those later. And you also get um, a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic disc brake uh, repair kit and the wheel nuts and things like that. Uh, this one here is you get the air box, which is really good. And a lot of these style of uh, touring cars, which is the, the high end uh, racer, uh, touring cars usually you don't get a airbox. The airbox is separate, um, but with the package that we offer, you do get the airbox, which is really nice, and you get the uh, aluminum inventory and the mount and the gasket. So um, that's that. This is a very interesting part. Um, I've never seen this before on the touring cars, and uh, this this is basically uh, the disc uh, brake protector set. Um, it, is, it is something that is optional, you don't have to run it, but if you do want to pr uh, protect your, your disc brakes and, and whatnot, uh, you, 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 you install it on the car and they, they, they also uh, have nice ventilation and they will keep the, the, the brakes cool and it will protect the brakes from debris and things like that. Okay, the last sheet here is just a decal sheet. So, um, yeah, it's just a, a, a decal sheet from MCD Racing. Um, we're, going to, uh, we're going to also have some really uh, nice decal sheets soon uh, for the tires, for the Dukes, and also some liveries for the body shells, which we will talk about later on. Okay, so here is a nice, uh, more uh, uh, in-depth, detailed, closer view of this uh, uh, a very nice machine here. Uh, we have here, as you can see, um, the hydraulic uh, disc brakes. Um, not sure if you guys are able to see it very well, 
but this here is the hydraulic uh, disc brake system and it's, uh, uh, it's really neat how they have uh, some uh, bracket housings to hold your uh, hydraulic uh, fluid lines. Um, the, you can see also here there's uh, the adjustment for your camber. They have these little plates that sit in between and you can move them however you like to adjust the camber of your um, front uh, wheels. Uh, the shocks, uh, this is the shocks here. You can see you have different, various different positions here to change the, the geometry of the suspension. Also here, the same thing. And then you have here the anti-roll bar system, which is quite unique. Um, they have a, a bar or a shaft going across and then they have, uh, uh, they have, uh, uh, it seems like it's a single bearing. They have one bearing here and another bearing here so that the anti-roll bars work really efficiently and smooth. And then also here, these are engraved by different thicknesses. So you have different thicknesses to use for your anti-roll bar uh, to change, to fine tune your car however you like. Uh, this is obviously the front bumper where the front bumper sits. So you get, you put your foam here. Um, and uh, Okay, um, so we move a little bit more uh, back to the chassis. Um, again, um, it's a very nice system here for making your uh, brake fluid uh, uh, lines uh, very nice and tidy. They have brackets everywhere, uh, which is very, uh, very nice. And also uh, here you have different various positions in adjusting uh, uh, your hub. And uh, also you have uh, a lot of wheelbase uh, clips here and uh, to change your um, uh, wheelbase and also caster, uh, your caster angle. Uh, so we move a little bit more back here and we have a nice uh, uh, pull push, um, push pull uh, uh, steering system with the servo saver right in the center and they have uh, four slots four slots for you uh, for standard size servos and uh, one slot to control here as you can see this is the master cylinder for the front disc brakes so you have one servo here to control the the master cylinder for the front brakes and then you have another master cylinder over here to control the uh, rear disc brakes and two servos for your steering okay this is your radio box obviously uh, which is very clear uh, here you get let's have a closer look at the throttle linkage so you get this um, dummy horn or uh, servo horn but this horn um, uh, will go on top of another uh, servo horn so this does not go directly onto the spline of the servo this will go on top of another uh, servo horn underneath it okay so uh, you have also um, uh, this heat shield for your exhaust pipe and some brackets for the exhaust pipe to be mounted on this is your battery holder of course and it is really designed for a shorty pack lipo so a shorty pack is usually would fit right into this space right here. We work uh, ourselves to the mid rear section of the chassis. Obviously that's your fuel tank, yes. And um, it's right in the center of the chassis for optimum weight balance and distribution. The engine obviously mounts here. It will be mounted downwards also for uh, uh, weight balance and best handling. Uh, this here, is basically where your drive unit is and the way it's laid out. It's laid out very nice. And um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, things happening here where the differential, um, we have the zip tie here in the way. So let's just put that. Okay, so your engine will go in here. This is where your clutch will be. And then this differential is a hydraulic differential, which is uh, 
from from what I've seen, this is the first time I've see I see a hydraulic differential, and uh, it's a very very nice differential, and it allows you to adjust the tension of the differential by controlling this screw here, which is closes the valve. If you close the valve more, it puts more pressure to the diff and it, it creates more locking. So you can really fine tune the feeling of the differential on this car. Uh, of course, here is your rear hydraulic disc brakes. And also the differential has a very easy way to access. You have four screws here. You just unscrew these four screws. You take this out and then you'll be able to take the differential out. Um, you have uh, the, the rear hubs can be um, adjusted uh, by your toe inserts. You have toe inserts, camber, same thing. They're adjusted by these small plates and um, yeah, you have um, also the anti-roll bar system, which is the exact same as the front. Uh, it's by bearings. You can, can, you can, everything is adjustable basically. You can change your hinge pins here, the angle of your hinge pins for your A-arms and, uh, and, and whatnot. Okay guys, uh, hopefully uh, you found this video or unboxing video very informative and gave you uh, some idea of what you get and how the MCD uh, Dukes is. Um, of course, if you have uh, any questions or any information regarding any of our products, you can always uh, contact us via email at info at cardinalracing.com or of course you can always w uh, visit the website at uh, cardinalracing.com and hope you enjoyed it and hopefully uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, showing more uh, uh, detailed videos uh, of the cars that we carry and I uh, hope you had a good time watching.